You don't really care about no one star You don't really care how they move Baby girl, yeah, you know I want ya Take it to the stars, to the moon You don't really care about the thing, thing. What they want to say or want to do You don't really care about nobody else Hey G Capri, what's good? What's good, my guy? What's the wordington? What's going on? What's up with the what's up? Trenches, got a city, we in here. Nah, facts. Fact. How you feel, bro? What's going on? You tried it to your bar podcast. We in here. Nice. I got it. Y'all, y'all, y'all finally got somebody from the real trenches up this joint. What's going mm. on? <laughs> shout out, shout out, tech, shout out, Zan. When I say the real trenches, I mean all of us, man. Shout out, shout out, everybody that's doing their thing. But once you start getting trench artists on here, man, it's a little different, man. What did what did J Main say? It hit different when you get OG Capri text and Zan up here, man. Stop mm. playing. Y'all should have had me in Gulag number two, man. Y'all know what the, the, the cash mm. app, the cash app was ready, man. When the pockets mm. is ready, hit me, man. Y'all could y'all could y'all could have oh. had a, a little bit of this wave going into the tournament, man. Mm, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> after the tournament, we could talk. After the tournament, we talk. You get me? But yeah, but let's start there. For those that don't know, just let the people them know where you're from. So we go get right into it. I said this in a battle. I right. wasn't born here, but I was raised here. My aunt had a spot in Westfield I would visit at 12. I went to Martin Luther King High School for a little bit. If you know about Martin Luther King High School, my mom got me up out of there. Niggas was bringing straps to the locker rooms and stuff. Now, mind you, I, before, I lived in, before I lived in Philly, I was a really bad kid going to schools with, with metal detectors and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I ain't about to, when I'm ready to tell my story, I'll tell it on my time with the documentary. I got a nice little story to tell. Right. Now, we talking about from 12 years old up until 31, you hear me? We talking about Philadelphia. We talking about North. We talking about Southwest. I had trap spots on Southwest. Like some niggas say they from somewhere, but you not from somewhere. If I and I and I don't know who you is, bro. I could give you blocks, Woodland and 67th. You couldn't go on Woodland and 67th if I ain't give you a pass. If you was a battle rapper, mm. we had that down lock. Africans was running that shit. Now we don't want, and then we got two Ave. When I say I fuck with Philly niggas and niggas fuck with me, that's all over. I am a different breed. I appreciate the fact that I wasn't born here because then I would be in the stigma of fuck, fuck South. I'm a North nigga or fuck the West. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a this type of nigga. But like all parts fuck with me. Now, when I first moved here, I went through the whole Shabazz. I fought a lot, a lot. And then after they realize you one of us, after you go through trials and tribulations and you prove you got heart, that shit ain't nothing. Now, Deshaun Jackson ain't, wasn't born in Philly. Niggas don't know that when he was the Eagles. We just, or, 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 or Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson. Niggas think Allen Iverson is from Philly. No, he's really from Virginia, I believe. Yeah, right. but that nigga, Once that nigga got a little bit of that air, I understand why niggas be repping that shit. And, and, and to be honest with you, once the documentary drop, y'all gonna know what's up. I'm doing mm. it on my time. All right, y'all, all right. y'all, y'all be tripping about this where y'all from shit, man. That shit only bothers a nigga unless you know, unless you put it all on the table, nigga. Me versus Freddie D. I say shit like that. Mm. And when I say I'm Philly, I've been to more spots than any of you niggas can go. I can go to any spot in the now, mind you, would it be safe? No, but I'm comfortable <laughs> anyway. Some mm. I done did so much shit to, if you feel me, you feel me. I, if you like this parts like like broad like I don't want like certain parts of Broad Street, mm-hmm. I gotta wear a hoodie there because they might be like, that's the nigga that X Y and Z did this to me. Mm-hmm. That's really for you. Mm-hmm. You can't even go certain to your favorite restaurant without a hoodie on because you know there's some chance ten years ago you stepped on a nigga, man. Mm-hmm. That's really for you. Right. So if y'all want to run with that angle, go ahead. And I'm only saying that because I'm here to let niggas know, bro. I'm tired of niggas be saying where you from, nigga. If I say I'm from Philly and I lived here for 20 years, let me rock. Right, right. Because I'm gonna see rock until I'm pissed off at you. If I get mad at you, you're not from Philly. (laughs) I wasn't even going, I wasn't, matter of fact, since we here, right? Let me tell you how thorough I am, man. Right. From the age of zero to 12, if I lived in six states, man. And I got fan bases in each part of that state because I did shit there, man. 
Y'all don't know what God gifted talent is. Y'all niggas be living in one area your whole life. And of course, your friends is going to tell you you a solid nigga. You never took an L. You never went into an uncomfortable situation. Mm. I've been doing that shit my whole life. I go every place and make new friends. Right. Do you know what that feel like, bro, to go to a new school and niggas don't know you? That means you got to fight all over. Yeah, yeah. facts, facts. And then and and then and then and then you get you get me going with you know the bullpen versus the trenches. Niggas want to know why I bring real North Philly niggas with me in the building. Thorough niggas with me. They wonder why they with me. Mm. I'm the trenches, man. Mm, I hear that. I, I hear ain't gonna that. say I'm the face of the trenches like move up. I'm gonna say I'm the face of the trenches. Mm. The difference. I'm not the face of the trenches. I'm a, I'm the face of the trenches. Mm. R.I.P. My nigga Jerry. R.I.P. Turk, man. Right, right, right. So how long have you been battling for then? I'll say about, so I took a break for about seven years, eight to seven years, and I came back, reinvented. So if we want to go, or what? so how you want to do it? You want to go the old or reinvented way? De nah, definitely old and the reinvented way. Like, because I know you, you, your name was a different name, right? What was your previous yeah, name? Yeah, I, I used to go by Boogie Flames. I battled people like Mr. Wavy. I didn't like that battle too much because my drip was off like a motherfucker. My drip game was ass, but people right. said I beat Mr. Wavy. The funny thing is, when people don't mention my name and winning this tournament, I laugh because they want to count my last battle because I didn't thirty that man like like my like my whole catalog isn't revenge of the Sith type shit. I get niggas the fuck out of here when I feel like y'all count me out. I do it every time. Personally. As Boogie Flames, I'm going to name everybody I battled as Boogie Flames before we get into the reinvented part. And then y'all tell me if I shouldn't feel confident in this tournament. I yeah, battled yeah. Wave. I battled Mr. Wavy. Gwitty gave me that 2-1. He said I was one of them guys. I battled Brooklyn Carter. I battled Derry Truth. I, I battled D-Dubs. I would be a forefather on Regal Hard right now if I would have stayed, man. The crazy Did you thing beat Brooklyn so Carter? I bet a lot of people, like if I, I battled Brooklyn Carter, I battled had... D-Dubs, Very Truth, just to name a few, Wavy, just to name a few. All niggas that would flourish in this tournament. Right, right. If I could right. hold my own with them, see, niggas forget, or or if they or if they don't know you, they just say X, Y, and Z is going to win the tournament, right? Yeah, because that is the thing, OG Capri. Obviously, how long ago was that when you battled them niggas then? What, seven, I eight years I battled dumb niggas like 12 years. I was 17 on We Go Hard. I was yeah. on the third card. I and and, and that's and then that's that's where one of the issues is, obviously, where you took so long. And not only that, you came back with a different name. Maybe if you would have come back with the same name, niggas might have known who he was. You know but what I'm saying? Even though they don't... But that the point is, even if they don't know who I am, the point is, you have to understand why I laugh when they say who the toughest niggas is. Like, I didn't battle niggas three times. Anybody could die on any given Sunday. That's right. why. Well, if I they don't feel know, like you're going to have to learn. Them. Like anyone else. Right. I, when I say niggas can't fuck with me, that's from experience, bro. I lost battles, bro. I don't know about nobody else, but niggas lose fights. I ain't Floyd Mayweather, man. Right. But, I, but, I, but, but I, know, I know for damn sure the niggas I lost to ain't better than me today. Mmm. I hear that, I hear that. So, who or what inspired you to start rapping? Uh, battle rap or music? Because that's Bat two different lanes. Yeah, battle rap, battle rap. So, when I was in Philly, I was watching Lions Den and all of that. Like, And I remember Tech 9 went over there. So, I'm like, damn, the, the Tech 9 could do it. That he opened he first he opened the way for a lot of niggas to be like, oh all right, you could you could come from Philly and do your thing over there. So I started watching battle rap from that. Then from that I got hooked into the like the my favorite battle at the time was Arsenal versus Hitman Holler. Right. Yeah. So like that was my energy. So like I remember like City, B City was like was like running that shit back then. Don't ask me how I came across like that whole situation, but I just know I was on the tryout card. Right, and I think, and um, so it was a tryout, and then it was the niggas who battled on the We Go Hard, like two cards before my shit, and then that's when Show Off was on there. Show Off emails, if you know who emails is Brooklyn Carter. A lot of these niggas was already fired. Then right. I came in, so when I battled on the tryout, Show Off battled, Kid Rock Dollars battled a lot of people that we know today. 
I had battle of the night as my first battle ever on We Go Hard. So my second battle on We Go Hard was already Brooklyn Carter because the name I had. Brooklyn Carter didn't want to battle me because they said, how is this Philly nigga getting me as my second battle? I was in demand. I just was doing my thing back to back to back. Now, the reason why I'm not battle, the reason why I stopped battle rapping was for like reasons that I didn't even talk about publicly until just now. Like, and I, and I want y'all to bear with me, like, no, yeah. All right, so mm -hmm. I like battle. Okay. I loved battle rap back then, mm -hmm. but like this shit sound cliche, but like I was really in the streets, bro. Like, and nice. I don't want to say like it should sound like ah, oh, here we go. Like, but nah, I just want to put this. I just want to put this in perspective, right? Yeah, like, man. Yeah, man. I don't. I, I'm gonna keep it a thousand because if the guy in the trenches ever ran into me and was like, "Nigga, are you talking about me?" I'll just keep it a stack with you, bro. Right. This story is so real that I never thought it would happen. I, th I never thought I would run into the nigga that it happened to. But one of the people that was at the the tournament when I was there is one of the niggas. Is one of the reasons why I stopped back. Like not the, one of the reasons, but like why I realized, man, this street shit is crazy. Like the, one of the niggas that was there, and if he watched this, he'll know what I'm talking about. Back when I was Boogie Flames, I was so in the mix. I was in Philly, like I, I, at his crib. I forgot where it was that type shit. And I and me and my mans was with me. He just came home or whatever. Right. He knew me. He didn't know him. And I ain't gonna say his name because it's corny as shit. But I'm just talking about why, like giving y'all perspective of why yeah. I stopped battle rapping, right? Yeah. So you got a nigga like a battle rapper, like Boogie, come through, like come through, bro. Come fuck with me. Let's smoke. Let's that I bring my guy with me. And like he wrote the guy, the battle rapper I'm talking about was a real nigga. He had his own little situation. He had the little the little the, you know the little Bob the Builder on him and shit like that, right. but he, but he was so goofy with it that, and mind you, he's a street nigga. Like, I fuck with him. He was there. I never. The thing was, I'm one of them people where I got so many ops. Just don't say my name, bro. Don't say, oh, are you him? Because right. now I gotta not now. Now you now you bringing up past memories, mm -hmm. and I feel like niggas know who I am when they see me. So they person they like it don't matter if they said he a bitch twenty times, and never brought it to my attention. Just please don't say it to me here because i'm gonna turn up on you like and, and 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 in this situation he was showing a little bob the builder john and then um my he went to the he went to the restroom because he fucked with me he my man so he went like he slid he slid off but left his john right there i lied to you not yo my god with me was like bro do we know who he is bro do we know what we what we get into that he just leave his situation right here and left off hey bro we taking this we we get back on the floor type shit now you know what we do and mind you it would have made sense not to incriminate myself but right. we do shit like that to where i was young and dumb 21 y'all feel me to where he already giving me the play like nigga his strap is here and i'm telling him bro he off the strength of he fuck with me he would never in a, like a million years think i would do this to him bro so you gotta understand but the only reason why I'd, and this is when i knew i didn't really fuck with him fuck with him but it was i was it was chestnut checkers if we if we don't kill this guy, right. he's gonna tell everybody what we did, and then now I, my name is on flyers, and that's where I'm getting to the point where I do shit like this so much to where it got toxic for me, bro. Right. And I kind of did it to myself because it's like I'm one of them that's really outside active. Like to be honest with you, there was a few like I, when I saw that guy at the tournament, a part of me wanted to uh, uh, reach out to him, like because when he because he was smiling next to me and laughing a lot. And so I was cool, but it bothered me. And I knew all it had to take was be like, bro, remember X, Y, and Z? So what's that about? You know, you know how I get in feeling. Yeah. But once you once you ask questions, you know it only goes one way. Yeah. I chose not to do that. And that's when I realized, damn, no matter how much I left battle rap, but I can't escape. I never thought I would see niggas like this, bro. Mm. And that's why I left battle rap. It got crazy. So when I left battle rap, mind you, I was fighting a lot, a lot, a lot. Like then, then street shit was happening, cases and shit like that. So when I left battle rap, bro, to be honest with you, that was the best thing I did for me in my life. Right. Not because, not because I I, I could have went to prison or died for the simple fact that I got my passport. I I got I went to Royal I was on Royal Caribbean 
like seven times. I I, I went on Symphony Symphony of the Seas, Harmony of the Biggest Ships in the World. Right. Been to uh, what what is Antigua Antigua Bay, Saint Martin, and all of that. <laughs> I, I, I traveled and lived the life, but mind you, I always had a hunger for this shit, but I stopped giving a fuck. When you was, the, the street shit I was on the first five years, I didn't even miss that shit. I said, fuck it. You know when, when the shit was so toxic, you don't really miss it until later on in life. Type yeah. shit. It was that yeah. crazy for me. That's why I came back. And when I came back, bro, it made me remind, it reminded me why I left, bro. This shit is still toxic. Mm. But you know what? I'm, I got a different game plan. I came back, mind you, OG Capri. My real name is Capri. I'm okay. living myself right now. Right. So I told myself I'm coming back for the for my for the for the. At first, it was for the bag. It was to let niggas know who I am. They thought I dwindled off, dwindled off, and died. Now mm. look at all these niggas talking about OG Capri. That's my nigga. That I wasn't saying that when it wasn't popping. When I was when I wasn't battle rapping. When I was in the shadows. Mm. Y'all niggas ain't say that's my fucking god. I came back because y'all forgot about me, nigga. Just right. remind y'all niggas. And now I'm back and I remember why I left again. I'm still fighting. Still going through X, Y, and Z. But the difference is, at least I'm going to get a bigger bag from it. And I got daughters now. So it's really about the money with me. And the fact that I'm mature enough to know I'm not going to walk up to that guy and be like, remember, you, you know I know you. But mm -hmm. I'm so mature now that I know you know I ain't a bitch. So I'm cool with that. Mm. You didn't bump me when I was when I purposely stood in the, in front of you and want and let you walk by me and you didn't brush my shoulder when you I purposely stood right in front of you when you was walking. If I would have felt a brush on my shoulder, my kid, my my childish ways would have came out because mm. I know you remember. But the fact that you smiled, you laughed, I appreciated that. I actually like now I, I feel better. Let's just rap. Yeah. So I left because of that, bro. A lot of goofy shit. A lot of niggas go through what they go through. I don't know why niggas take breaks. I took a break and had a blast, bro. Experienced life. Got my CDL, mm -hmm. graduated college. You know, I was driving trucks, bro, and online at the same time over the road, bro. Mm. That's dangerous. Nah, we got truck stops with Wi Fi. Oh, okay. Oh, I know about the yeah, truck stops. Truck I thought you but, was like literally driving. The whole, the whole point is this, though. Bad, I, like, to come back into battle rap, I'm already knowing it's toxic. I thought I I, ro I rose above it. Mm -hmm. Nah, you sink right back in. You can't that's be why, a like, part of it like, and not get, get into okay. it. It's impossible for you to be a part of battle rap and not get into toxic shit. And battle rap is mm -hmm. always going to be toxic because at the end of the day, it comes from the streets. And what hood you ever been to that wasn't toxic? That's just how it is. And that's uh, just reality. You ready so, for the so you know, so you know, you know how we, you know, you know what made me realize that I went on live with uh, I think Harlem, Harlem, Harlem Legend. Was, uh, I, I follow him on Instagram. So when yeah, he Salute, live, Harlem I, I tapped in. He was on there with uh the boy um Murder Mook, mm. and he on there arguing with Hitman Holler, and I was in the comments, and this is when I realized this shit toxic for real. I'm like, yo, you mean to tell me the top paid one of the top paid niggas? Is not at peace right now. Mm. So what? Right. So 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 my thing is, I used to think as long as we get in the money, it's all good. But I, I'm still trying to figure out the balance. When I realized the top paid nigga, so it's not about making money yet. The the money ain't in, the, the the peace ain't the money. No. So what is it? Logging off for of Instagram, not reading the comments. What is it? I guess it would have to be specific for that person i know when i come into the battle rap streets and everything like that i talk my shit and but when i get off the off the youtube off the instagram don't none of that shit come into my real life i don't give a fuck about none of that shit unless somebody if you ain't trying to see me face to face and knuckle the fuck up it, it ain't that big it ain't that deep respectfully though you tried it um let me ask you a question because then it, 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 it could maybe like have you um what was like have you ever showcased and had like, I don't know if you do music. What's your talent? I just talk shit. All right, so look, that's so that that's that's not bad. Have you? So I say this right. If I'm wrong, let me know. You one of those people that, of course, in the real world, you are somebody. We know that. But like in this battle rap world, you kind of like in the shadows. You talk your shit and you dip out, right? Yeah. So I say that to say this until you step into my world, until the battle rapper world where you where your life is now. 
like uh in the, the world could see eye, in public. The like, yeah. I'm telling y'all things that like you're learning more about me than I'm learning about you right now. That's what mm -hmm. we sign up for. Thanks. And you want to know what's crazy? People gonna take some of this and find negativeness and find negative stuff anyway. Somebody's gonna record this and, and find a whole bit about it while we thinking it's organic. Right. So so I'll say this like it gets the once you like you it sounds good until it be too much of it, yo. But that's not all, but that's, that's what we gotta find a balance. My, dude my kids and shit like that, I probably snap the fuck out too. But but you wanna what's crazy? I do what I do do is I talk to my lady because sometimes like no bullshit. Like my my girl didn't even do nothing. She might just be like a like like she might be like I took it the wrong way. Put it like this because right. people online is playing with me. And mm -hmm. instead of taking it as a joke, I was like what, what that mean? Mm. Instead of not thinking, of, and then I apologize. This is why, in real in real life time, I'm a man. This is why I have a female, a, a companion. A lot of people don't have girlfriends because women know niggas is lame. I actually be like, listen, these niggas is getting to me to where I'm sorry that I'm taking it on you. They playing with me, and I don't want nobody to play with me. And right. this is why, and this is when I realized, damn, social media is getting to me. This is why I didn't want to. This is why when people like, like, no disrespect to you, but I try to do 20 and get off because right. like last time we did this shit, I almost called it case, man. Mm. And it was, yeah, it was, you were you you out the fuck out. You was violent. And, 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 it's, and it's so random, bro. It's you so violent. random. You gotta stop taking that shit so seriously yeah. though, dog. Like, especially like when it comes to me, I say whatever comes to my fucking mind. You better not take that shit seriously because I, I don't mean no harm. And if I do mean harm, so what? Who the fuck am I? You know I'm, I'm not any of that, bro. To be a battle rapper, like you said, if you're in and in the public eye, you have to have thick skin to be in the public eye. You get me? That That's a fact. So that's definitely something to, you know, keep that in mind, bro. Yeah, you got to be able to dust your shoulder off, bro. Yeah, let me ask y'all yes, this, man. right? Let me, let me ask you, let me ask, I'll ask you this TMR podcast and then, and then you could, and then you, if you got the same answer, what you got to be able to take it, that's cool. Let's say. <sighs> Let's say uh yes your stepmom. Let's say your stepmom. No, let's say you get into an art. Let's say you and your wife get into an argument or whatever. Like right. that. she take the kids, she take the car, she take the house and everything. And every time you on the internet, they say, how how, how come you don't talk to your your wife like that? You ain't. And, and now mind you, you would think that's nothing, but you really are still sit like that. You would think people see a counselor for, but you a real nigga. You take it internally. The only time you hear about it is online for real. You, you, you've been coping with it. How maybe you smoke weed or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, you go yeah, online and mm -hmm. you see the trolls that remind you, my ex is gone. She took the kids and all of that. Now, do you still feel like, ah, I could take it. It, 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 it depends on what I'm saying. Like, if I felt like I can't take it, then I would have to, you know, have the balance and fall back from it. Uh, but then anytime I do go to, to the surface, anytime I do go online, I have to take it. If not, then I just won't be on it at all. Does that make sense? Yes. And, and the goal and it's is to take, take good. mental health breaks. Like, just do rap, it there I think, too I where think you don't go online at good. all. As long as you, as long as, that's what we're here for. Fuck all the, the wrestling shit. Oh, I'm gonna do this to you and all that. You a pussy and all that. At right. the end of the day, if you rap good, that's all they want to hear. Cause they gonna troll you tomorrow. They gonna troll you after the battle. But do you really want them to troll you for being ass? <laughs> I feel you in that. <laughs> no, that's but we de we definitely want good good face offs. Cause sometimes the face offs be better than the battles. Yeah, and, for sure. And, and that's what sells the battle, bro. That's the thing. Like, don't get me wrong. Obviously, you know, people saying SMD and all that stuff. Okay, that part could get left out. But the whole craziness of the promo side of thing and going at it, going at it, going at it, going at it, that is just a part of the promo now, battle rap now, bro. That That's really a part of it now. So it is like wrestling now. It really is. Even I just, like, I, but like but y'all might be okay with that. But like, I, I was just telling somebody this, like at the end of the day, yo, this is when I knew battle rap changed. If y'all like, you know how, like, like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, a female wasn't even going to talk to you if you wore skinny jeans. Like, mm -hmm. if, if your shirt, if, your sh if, if you could see a nigga boobs and shit. Now that's called drip. <laughs> so I guess I I'm old school because I still won't talk to a nigga. No yeah, but, but, be, but, no believe it or not, but believe it or not, there's a lot of, but believe it or not, there's a lot of fat niggas out here wearing skinny jeans. But back in the days, right. you had to have the 4XTs. 
Those was the money getting niggas. Yeah. The niggas with the four X white T shirts. But mm -hmm. everything yep, and, and the fitted caps. Yeah, you go ahead and wear a four X white T shirt now out here, man. See who yeah. you at. Time See what changed. female you get. Yeah, time you changed. You saw what bro. they did. The, uh... Time changed. Facts. What's his name? The one big ass of Mary hoodie. Oh my god. <laughs> Get a, who they did? Did? Oh man, he fucked up. <laughs> yeah, they did him dirty. See. They did him dirty. See, I feel like I feel like that nigga came home. He probably came home from prison, thought that shit was good because he, he did 20 years. He's like, nigga, I was getting bitches with the same shirt on 20 years. Nah, watch this. He got that buddy. It was like, I'm gonna buy this expensive ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really say that to say this. That's where that's that's my that's my reference to battle rap and promotion now. Back in the days, you know, you only had to, you know, you rap good and the promo came from from selling the fight. Nowadays, you could post people's mothers. You could do all type of stuff like that. And the narrative now is this battle rap. That, I, uh, uh, I, I, like, I know. And I agree with that. And obviously that is I not, agree too. It's not, it's not nice. It's not nice. I don't condone, you know, person up. But mothers. some people think it is nice. I, I, I know. I, I don't condone that. But I could definitely say there ain't no talent how people gonna promo i'm not saying i agree with it but it definitely ain't no telling how a nigga promo and i heard i, I heard. want you to know what you're saying right now bro i want you to know where we're at in battle rap right now yes this is a huge statement that you're saying bro yes because i say that to say when people it, it's not often when the people battling they will talk behind the scenes and come up with stuff a way to promo and or say this off limit and then go at it normally as soon as it's locked in they just go at it does that make sense? They don't have no discussion behind the scenes. They just so that's what I mean by there ain't no telling how a nigga's gonna um promo. Because example, me and you are locked in now for a battle, right? Mm -hmm. You might just put up the flyer and share this shit and stuff, but I may go live just bombing on you, bombing on you, bombing on you every day, right up until the battle. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by that ain't no but, it's, but how you're bombing is okay. It's all about how see some people got no limitations. We Correct. not go, I don't want to say niggas people's names, but we all know some people have no limitations. Now, this is what separates me. Like I was told I have charisma. Right. I was told people like me because you're genuine, you speak from the heart. And I'm gonna do it again right now. The reason why people is weirdos and the reason why they will never flourish is because a nigga like me that really is the one percent of the real niggas in the world. I see y'all troll like that. I see a nigga say SMD 20 times to a nigga and still battle him and nothing happened. Then he do it again. I said, Oh, you ain't never been through nothing. You mm -hmm. scared me. I don't even wanna. That's what I'm learning now. I'm learning that uh, did that, 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 that you know what was scary back in the day? The nigga that, that was pussy would shoot you. The nigga that's scary would shoot you. He's not fighting you. <laughs> now, yeah. now I'm scared of the nigga that's gonna say SMD 20 times and do nothing. Yeah, that means I'm next. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm next mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. But nah, then y'all get it fucked up because y'all realize there is like hard. I know it's hard to believe. Some niggas ain't going for it in battle rap. I know you don't see it a lot. But then you get niggas like me where when lose a draw, I'm going to ask you. And that's why, like, I, again, I, I, I didn't say nothing to the ball. Mm. And, and look what happened because I didn't. We had a great event. And now I could rap and I could prove I'm more than just that, bro. Like, niggas, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just different from a lot of people, man. I think it's going to all unfold real soon. And um, y'all going to be people to see the process from the beginning. I've always been stand up. I never, I never bow down. My my losses is public, you feel me? And then right. you still wonder how I'm respected. I'm I'm the underdog to I actually go through shit and prevail at the end. And even in these losses and all these L's they took, if you I could actually say do your homework and turn my back on you. I could actually say the get back has happened. But do I have to tell you niggas no? I just have to rap good. Niggas don't give up. What did what did what did the strawberry milk ball say? Yeah, you bitched me 20 minutes ago. That was 20 minutes ago. That made sense. You gotta rap good. <laughs> Mm. I can well, be let me ask you this. 24 7 nigga. If you lose in round one, nigga, you out of here. Mm. I'm gonna well, get him the fuck out of here, though. He's not winning. Look at me. He's not winning, yo. Like, I learned so much shit in these 30 days. I'm I keep telling people up the hyperbolic time chamber is real. I am ultra ego capri. I'm getting the shirts made. Mm. Yeah, like, merch. Definitely get your merch together. Fact. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how to get that design made. And when I say ultra ego Vegeta, which means if you really on your end, because I'm 30, but I'm I still grew up with Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, right, right. yeah. So man. I say that to say Vegeta lost to a lot of niggas, but them niggas can't fuck with him now. I'm him, bro. I'm right. really him. 
Like, just because Android 17, a female, beat Vegeta, he can't do it now. A lot of y'all niggas is females. Yeah, I remember that story there. I remember that. I I'm him. him. Mm -hmm. I'm him, bro. Like, my story is different, bro. Like, bro, I'm I'm with the same. I'm with, bro, I'm with the same. All these people calling me weird. Watch, when this drop, you might get the haters in there. Just put this into account, bro. If I was weird, I wouldn't still be with the, with the mother of my children, man. Now, mm. shit happens, but sometimes they find real niggas along the way and they move on. Shit just happens. Right. That's what, but, but like, for, for real, for real, we about to start asking these niggas if they single. Anybody that diss me from <laughs> now on, if you diss me from now on, and, and, and you not a fake nigga if you, if you not single, because real niggas is single by choice, but now we have to do categories. Let's, just, let's decipher if there's somebody in your real life that think you qualified to call me weird. Mm. Or, or, or TM or weird, or you tried it. Because mm. see, right now y'all play the backfield, but y'all got haters too. But once y'all become the country, right now y'all chilling. Y'all don't even know a lot of people don't fuck with y'all. But the fact that I know I'm clipped up right now. Somebody come at me right now. I'm clipped the fuck up. I got some bars for the ass. But too. hold on. Me but too. you just said don't pay it no mind. And yeah, I be on I'm the same the time as you. You got to stay clipped up. Yeah, you definitely have to stay ready. We're not telling niggas not to stay yeah, ready. Stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, so when you say clipped up, it ain't no personal shit. You mean like on something like this clipped up? Yeah. Yeah. Like, see, with me, it ain't never no personal shit because don't nobody want to go there with me. Mm. You just don't. You just you really don't. It's not. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? So that really don't happen for me. Hold so, on. You know, you know, you say that, right? And then you get a nigga that don't give a fuck. They out there, y'all. Yeah, well, they virtual. Saying, but that's wolves. when it gets fun. That's when it get fun. That's you. Yo, hey, yo, TMR. Yeah. Hey, watch out for her, bro. I know. That was a scary answer, bro. <laughs> that was that was, was that a was a Philly answer, answer bro. Yeah. That was a Philly yeah. answer, bro. Like, right, don't yeah. don't double cross her, bro. Nah. <laughs> like, I like that. <laughs> if, if that's when it get fun. I I really be saying that, like, oh yeah, like it, like it sound good, and I don't even want to make you niggas examples. This shit's so real. I realize. I done stepped on so many niggas behind one situation, and then I put it like this, right? I don't, but I'll give it too much light. Right. There's a whole, there's a whole situation right now saying, all right, a nigga, a nigga beats you up or whatever. That's 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 going viral or whatever. Right. But if we even speak on that situation, the ops recorded it, and it was a few good men that recorded it, and there's a full video out. But but they, the real niggas that don't have internet, social media, it just dwindled off in niggas' phones where in the full fight. The nigga that supposedly did what he did to me was on the floor getting TO'd on. Like, I'm on top of him. Like, right. this is why in the streets I'm respected. And they tell me, don't worry about the internet. Why I can still talk like this. They said, we saw you beating him up. We saw you get jumped. You was by yourself, bro. Why didn't you call us? We was right. Right, like, I, and, and I'm going to tell y'all what I told them. I was dumb as shit for not getting y'all. I just saw the nigga that said SMD online. I walked up on him. When I could have just called, bro, dude, you know what was crazy? I got jumped and my niggas was in the building. I could have, y'all, nobody knew this story, bro. Right. My niggas was a phone call and a few steps away. None of this would have happened. And and they and they were strapped, bro. Right. I didn't even know they was there. So I drove from Philly like a dumbass. Nothing happened in these lax X, Y, and Z battles. I'm good. Why well, take penitentiary chances? My, my dumb ass did that, but my men had it. I could have just called them and said, come outside the building, because I had to rap that day. They right. pulled up on me. These so-called people that y'all respect tried to ruin my situation. I didn't pull up on them. Mm. They had to the drop. I right. just saw a nigga that was talking crazy, somebody that y'all look at as a wolf, somebody that y'all, these same niggas that's clowning me, talking about ads such and such, or why this happened to him. I'm talking about, I walked up on him. I said, bro, what was that SMD shit about? The same SMD, you know right. what he told me? Bro, that ain't that serious, bro. We we just we just can't, man. Long story short, bro. What's my bro? Come see me, bro. Come mm. in the middle of the street, bro. What's up? Mm, mm. He said, he said, let me show this little whipper snap or something. I remember those words. I teed off mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to do that in front of all you. You know how mad my niggas was that I ain't go get them. And mm -hmm. you know why I'm a dickhead? I would not be humiliated right now if I if I was a coward like you niggas. Mm. If I was a cow, not y'all. I got yeah, I know. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I know. No, I know. If yeah. I was a coward and and felt like it was strength in numbers, and I I, I would I would have did that, and then mm -hmm. it would have been different because I was already winning. The empire would have crumbled. That's my right. fault. I'm gonna take that. But when y'all clown me, I gotta always remember y'all wouldn't do what I did. I would have a ran. Who walks up with all niggas in black 
and say square up with me. But you know instead that? of them niggas saying, no, Capri's a real nigga, y'all going to run with this, I'm the realest nigga, oh, I won the fight because it sound good. And then you're going to make these other niggas crash dummies like they been crash dummies. I'm not saying no names, mm -hmm. but a lot of niggas got beat up after that, ran off the block. I don't clout chase, so I don't have to say their names. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying, I ran off the block. But they don't say add the niggas I ran off the block behind that shit because it's not cool to say. I'm just going to rap good, y'all. I just want to mm -hmm. rap good. Leave me alone. Mm, I'm smooth. one of them, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, hello, shout out Easy, shout out Muap. I'm the face of the trenches, not the trenches, mm. but the trenches. Mm. I'm and I'm, and I'm though, gutter bro. city trenches front line. Shit into battle rap. We can't. It's got supposed to be the gangster stuff. Supposed to be in the bars. <laughs> and that's what I just want, bro. Do you do you know? I bullied Taj Millie all like all three rounds. I gave that nigga a noogie. Back in the days, you don't he lose after that. But then I'm sorry. I know you're a grown ass man, but if you gave tried to give me a fucking noogie on stage, you gonna catch these hands and speak, <laughs> trust and believe. I and swear. you wanna know and look, remember back in the Lions then when Head Ice used Lil Bull as a shield? Right. He, he moved that nigga <laughs> as a shield and he won off of that. I'm one of them energies to where mm -hmm. the fans had to teach my dumb ass. Nigga, this ain't back then. You gave a noogie, so what? Nigga, what was the four three lines? But what was the setup? Mm. Yeah, I'm learn. I got y'all. Mm. Yeah, cause this y'all don't, don't want y'all don't want gangsters to win. It's bigger than that. Y'all don't want gangsters to win. Y'all want this is why you you want to know the niggas in, in the music industry that's flourishing. The niggas that talk gangster but don't live it because they're marketable. They can mm -hmm. rap the gangster, but the niggas that really live that shit, they not getting marketed. I don't want to be that no more, yo. I'm gonna right. play y'all game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, if you want to succeed, you better. Yeah, I'm not. If you run around gangster, gangster like that, I'm not going to none of your. And I'm not. Battles. Yo, you want to know what's crazy? I'm not. I think I'm a. I think I'm weird. I think I'm a nerd. I'm just tougher than a lot of you niggas. Yo, I'm taking my girls to the, their birthday is this weekend. I'm taking them to the aquarium. Me and my girl is getting matching shirts. I'm a right. smile in my picture. Right. I'm not so tough, dog. <laughs> nah, I, I respect that shit. I like that shit. Like I'm just that tougher than a lot of y'all because just I, I'm, I'm just, I just stand mm -hmm. on business. Mm -hmm. Like, man, I'm one of them niggas where if my daughter is locked in a cage with a grizzly bear, I guess I'm getting mauled. Mm -hmm. Grab her yeah. though, grab her. Some niggas run. Mm -hmm. I saw a video where a father left a damn child because a dog was coming. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Gonna 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 try to assassinate my character. These niggas. I mm -hmm. throw the whole nigga away after that. I can't be with no nigga gonna leave my child. Mm -hmm. nah, same same niggas. Same over. niggas saying Capri's a weirdo because. Y'all respect what a nigga do. How the fuck is, how the fuck do we talk all this shit about Capri and niggas still fuck with him? Do you know niggas? Man, listen, <laughs> I could go forever, man. You know I sell fights, bro. Which, any question y'all well, have, let me, let me you know. Let me ask you this about Z the dropout. Let's get he it. He seemed hella comfortable today on, hella comfortable. Uh, on um, Caps Live. Do you think that he underestimating you? Um, def uh, He is with good reasoning. I'm rolling up as we speak yeah, with go good ahead, reasoning. Man. So pardon me for the um, you know, a go lot ahead. of activities. Uh, with good yeah, reasoning because up. I'll say, did y'all see me versus Taj Millie? Y'all can keep it a thousand if not. What was that? Was that the bull? Was that your last? It was just pay per view if you got the tickets. Yeah, was that your last battle? Yeah, bullpen. Yeah, that was the bullpen yeah, versus yeah. first battle yeah. of the night. Yeah, we see that. Yeah. So a lot of people feel like that that was their first time seeing me. You know, niggas don't do their homework. That, they never do their homework. They just see what they see as their last battle. So a lot of, uh -huh. for a lot of people, that was their first time seeing me, and it wasn't a good showing. So right. a lot of people don't go as you as good as your last battle. Correct. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I was supposed to 30 that young man. So since it didn't happen, if you don't 30 your nigga in battle rap, anybody think they ass or, or could be beaten. Z just feel like that because he just feel like that. Like, I can't take nothing away from that, man. If I would have executed perfectly, he wouldn't be feeling like that. I haven't lost a battle in a very long time. That was my first time even hearing I lost. Mm. <laughs> oh, and really feeling like, ah, y'all could, could be right. So, you know, with Z to drop out, um, he need to worry about me. You know, at the end of the day, uh, I, like I, I gave y'all my old resume, but even the newer niggas I battled, like 
a lot of people that I've battled under this name is flourishing now in battle rap. They're getting notoriety. So so I'm so I already battled them. So even the newer niggas that's fired, I, I already went head to head with them. Right. So with that being said, Z the dropout is not really that threatening. He's just somebody in my way right now. Somebody that they saying is all right. He's if anybody say he's better than me, I've heard that my whole life with everybody. Right. And to be honest with you, I'm never going to stop feeling like I can smoke everybody. Like, to be honest with you. Like, yeah. I done, the, I'm going to say this again. The hyperbolic time chamber is a real thing. Mm. In 30 days, with the right type of training, y'all going to see, man. I never mm. trained in battle rap in my life. Mm. I swear to that's, God. That's, that's... I, I, I swear to God, I never trained in battle rap. I never sat down and watched and studied in my fucking life, right, bro. Right. Once these niggas played with me with the Taj Militia saying like that shit was debatable, I'm like, hold on, I can't keep doing. It. I'm trying to get paid. Mm -hmm. Let me let me stop saying I'll rap good now and really see what what why they saying this shit. Cause they've been saying that shit since I was battle rapping since the beginning of time. I just been raw talent and real good. Sometimes I did the sometimes I just did what they liked without me knowing it and just smoke shit. I got a lot of bodies on my resume, a lot of battles of the night, a lot of good performances. I didn't get here for no reason. <laughs> When Easy first saw me, he said, "I remember you." Oh shit, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Easy. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the bro. Shout out. Mm -hmm. Last week in the trenches, obviously you got the trenches tournament, seventeenth of February. It's going down. Get your pay per view tickets. www.gutacity.com. So is it only on the website, or is it going to be on Rap Grid? Um, the website, I'm not a hundred, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure of. I know it's been on the website this whole time. Every time it's happened, been on the website. I do realize it was on Rap Grid the last time. Yes. But I think that was because I think somebody from Rap Grid was associated in the business. Um, I, okay. uh, uh, what's y'all predictions going into the, uh, excluding me? We're going to take me out of there because to be honest with you, I want everybody to have me losing. Right. I'm in well, that bag. Right. Well, we get to that in a sec, but. We would like to know how many rounds is the tournament? Oh, y'all got y'all got a rubric. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know already. Yeah, oh, man. And rounds. I said 20 minutes. I'm so passionate about this shit, man. I'm yeah. I'm, a, I'm I'm gonna be tired of shit at work tomorrow. I, said, I, I hear uh, that, but bro, I I I I like what's going on right now, Anthony. Yeah, me too. What getting, was the question again, bro? I'm, and again. you are getting your shit off, right? So how many how many rounds? All right, so it is for each for each battle, it's right. three rounds, three rounds, two minutes with a 30 second window. Right, okay. right. So then how many rounds altogether? You see, like this is round one, and then so what would the final be? Would that be round four or round five? Say that again. I said when we get to the finals, would that be round four or round five? Mm, that will be round four and the finals right. okay. and the finals uh I can't until I can't say what I can't say there's another there's another another trailer dropping. Okay. As a, and I don't I, and I don't know if cuz he didn't he dropped the trailer but I don't think he said it in the trailer but if he I'm saying just know the finals is not is going to be set up for a situation on a big card. And right. I don't want to oh, okay. and I don't want to give too much mm -hmm. away but right. then like like the the two last remaining rappers, like forget the tournament. Now now y'all on some y'all on y'all on some. All right, we gonna take y'all off the tournament. Y'all gonna open up type shit for this type right, of tournament. Right. And still, you know what I'm saying. Right. So that's that makes cool. sense. Yeah, yeah. All right. So what what is the price then for the winner of the tournament? So round one, no prize. Round two, both MCs automatically. Get, now, mind you, this is what was said. Uh, we don't. Um, it should be set in stone. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm out the loop, but I do remember what he told all of us, and I think we all on the same page. Is we know the the whole join 10k. We all know about the 10k. The winner get 10k. But before we get to that, in round two, both MCs that advance already get like 200, 250 in their pocket. Right. But both MCs will get together and decide. Do y'all want to keep the money or put it into the pot where the winner takes it all? So somebody oh, leaves hot. with that 500 
and someone leaves with nothing. But like, mm-hmm. I have to agree with that. If one person is, I put, I, I think about it like you scared. I like, I like that type of thing. Cause now, right. cause now you make a nigga feel like you scared cause you just want the two fifty. So mm-hmm. now it's all or nothing. Now that's round two and round three is five hundred dollars. Right. So y'all can either just say, man, listen, man, when lose a draw, I'm taking this five hundred. You nice as shit, bro. We do it. Or you can say. I could take this thousand real quick. I could lose this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I could take this double thousand. or nothing. <clears throat> yeah. And then if you take that thousand, I don't even care about the 10K. The fact that you made it to the set, you want the 10K, mm-hmm. but the two finalists, I feel like is good. Bottom yeah. line, like they said, right. Even if you, even if you lose in the semifinals, you mad as shit about the 10K, but you really one of them now. You, you damn near, I man, I ain't even, I, I ain't going to be him. I'm trying to, bro. Listen, man. Who do you 17th. see yourself battling in the finals? I don't, I think I'm the only one that see it, man. No, I say, who do you see yourself battling? Who do you think gonna be up there? You are gonna have to battle for the in the finals? Myself, man. OG oh, Capri wow. versus OG Capri, man. One of us gotta win the tank. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, all, all jokes aside, you know when we, you know, I'm starting to learn politics. You start saying this, a nigga will feel like, oh, uh, you left my name out. So I'll say this, right? I didn't watch. 50 percent of these battlers i just eat like diesel i know him from back in the days cough kaf if i said the name right I, I'm, I'm hip to him people say watch out for baby james i i can only go off the people that i know is dangerous and i think it could either be in the finals if they don't get wiped out already it's the same niggas i've been saying jay moore um muop or prezi um, a few niggas, a few niggas. Everybody's been that, saying Baby James. I've been hearing Baby James, Baby James, like crazy. Yeah, I've been hearing Baby James' name a lot too. Like, so my thing is this: how, like, it, as a fan looking in, how do y'all feel? Or like, do y'all think like, damn, there's a lot of pressure on us? Do y'all think we all working to get this 10k? Do you feel like somebody's gonna be sad if they get kicked out the round or something? Like, how y'all think? How well, y'all think what I can say is. For starters, um, it's a shame that Prezi and Muwap is in the first round. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I wanted them to to keep moving on forward and maybe come together later on in the round. So it's a shame that one of them got to go from the rip. All right. Um, but then I did hear that the prize was not only 10k; it was to be the face of the trenches too. Yeah, Muwap Muwap said no matter what he the face. <laughs> Yeah, right. that's the stipulation. Right. So if that is the stipulation, how do you feel that there's a possibility niggas that's not actually a part of the trenches could but win the tournament and become the face of the trenches? You want you know, you, you want to hear the realest shit I'm gonna tell you uh, about course. that situation, man. Listen, nobody will tell you this, right? I don't give a fuck about these self-proclaimed titles people have, man. If somebody said they the president of the United States tomorrow, you could have that <laughs> movement saying he the face of the trenches forever. Now, here we are saying if I battled him in the finals, I feel like I would not lose to anybody. If I beat him, he could still say he the face of the trenches. I'm so humble of a person. I just want to be the best at what I do. That title man shit is going to cause a lot of division. It's gonna cause a lot of division in the system and shit. So let's say I don't let's say if Prezi beats Lou and he already called the face to the Lou. Congratulations. Mm. You feel me? Like, think about it. Yeah, that because... title only a matters to, it's just like saying you not from Philly. It only mm. matters if you if that's something that that's the energy you put out in the in the, in the zone. I never said I was the face of, of, of trenches. I said if you like of, of the of the battle league trenches, I said I'm smoking anybody in the tournament. I don't want to put a title on that. No, no, no. Well, let me let me give you some pushback on that because I'm not a battle league owner, but I got a battle rap club. Mm-hmm. And I run that shit. Me and TM, we run that shit. So if we say that all right, this battle gonna be the battle for the champ of the gulag and the person who was the champ lose, he can't go and say, I don't care what y'all say. Mm. I, I don't care what y'all say. I'm still the champ. No, I said what the fuck I said. Now you disrespect mm. me. So if Easy said it's for the face of the trenches, and let's just say um, Z to drop out win, mm. then he the face, whether y'all like it or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 you, oh, oh okay. So, so, and that goes what I'm saying. How do I feel about who's the face? It's just the. Like let's say if I lose every let's say if I lose in the semifinals and I could have been the face, but I'm not. 
it's not gonna bother me that much. It's the mm -hmm. title. Yeah, no, no, yeah. The, no. The question was like, you see, obviously, you you guys have people that's not from the trenches. You see, when we heard Rumble, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you say heard... how like how would I feel if like a we go hard nigga, like if Prezi or if someone, nigga, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, you want to know what's crazy? That is kind of I I don't like that a nigga that's from another league yeah we go hard mm -hmm. be in the face of a league he don't even wanna he don't mm -hmm. even wanna like he like if they said who you rep like they be like yo little Prezi who you repping we go hard or trenches who you think he's saying first so how can you be the face of the trenches if you gonna say we go hard well first? he should have thought about that before he made that stipulation yeah because when we heard rumors of the trenches tournament coming we well I thought I have to go for me I thought. That it was good, it's gonna be everyone from the trenches Me too. in the tournament, and mm -hmm. obviously, yeah, when they get to be the face, mm -hmm. all right, cool. When man is seeing niggas from all over coming in, they have a chance of winning that and becoming the face of the trenches, but they're not OG Capri, they're not Tex, they're not Zang. Y'all bet one of y'all better win, they're not move up, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. yo, you want to know what's crazy. All right, one more, uh, uh, can Jay, does Jay Moore, is Jay Moore on our side or do we count as an outsider? I, the trenches? I, I, I say your side, and the only reason why I can say your side for me, because that's the first time I ever came across him was him. So like, the so let's be, let's be clear. You mean like the CNG ties, the presidential dubs, those niggas can't just come over here and walk in the outsiders. The outsiders, yeah. all the outsiders, bro. Like, like I said, Jay Z Moore. the dropout, Z the dropout, niggas like him, an outsider. Oh, yeah. Hey, so, 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 let's put it like this after round one, I completed my mission. Who's next? Move, move. Got if that's the case, then if move win, then there is no more outsider talk, right? If I beat Z the dropout, who's left? Is it Ta? He's next. Like we so I see what y'all saying. It's not happening. It's not. And this is what I'm saying, yo. Y'all fuck with me for real. But if y'all knew the passion behind this shit, yo, it's a little, it's a those stipulations we already thinking about, yo. You know what I'm saying? Put it like this. There's people that's counting me out in the tournament. I done told y'all niggas who I battled that's 30 times. Could be possible. Brooklyn Carter could be possibly better than every nigga on this card. And I ain't mm -hmm. even going to disrespect Carter because there's a, I mean, people on this card. I'm just saying, there could be talks that Brooklyn Carter, Wavy, and all of them. Even the niggas I battled that's OG Capri it's, it could, could win this tournament. I feel disrespected, yo. Right, right. I, so, feel, I feel disrespected, yo. So, okay, so how do you feel about... Yeah, but the possibility you have to battle your teammate because, as you said, someone's got to win. You know what I'm saying? So, how do I feel about it, mm. <laughs> nigga? They should have never. They the, the, the luck was on was not on their side when like when they when easy draw our names out the hat. Luck was not on their side, man. Yeah, luck was yeah, not on yeah, like my, it is what it is. Moo yeah, was, Mu was my brother. Texas, my brother. There's a lot of people. That's going to like be like, you can't fuck with Moo, you know. Mm. And, and then it only takes certain certain warriors to laugh it off, if you know. Like when you tried it, said it's fun for me. You have to know what she means when she say that. That means niggas going to have you fucked up. Mm -hmm. And you just have to know who you is. That's what this is. A lot of them, I fuck with Moo. But at the, but the I fuck with Tex. I'm not losing to nobody. To be honest with you, this tournament put a lot of division, not division, competition that I didn't want to do. I didn't want to look at Tex and be like, ah, I'll smoke I'll, you. Yeah, of course, of course. But I didn't want to do that. But now but I don't even call mm. them niggas as much. I don't even call Tex as much. Mm, man. I'm mm. like, bro, you might be. <laughs> wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a battle, you yeah, niggas. Uh, yeah, everybody, I, yeah, everybody, every I, single I, person. Like, damn, y'all yeah, just thought about that shit, yo. And he my man's. Maybe if we both lose the tournament or he lose, I'll call you more. Bro. Right, but that is where you have to have the balance, then, isn't it? About like you know, street shit and a battle rap, it, you have to separate it because that's you guys, that's you, you guys are friends. But as you said, you even stop calling it in a real life, you know, because of this battle rap shit. Because obviously, possibly, it could be a up, but really, it's not, you know, what I mean, it's not that deep, as you know, it's just battle rap after but, this one. But none of these niggas, none of these niggas is threats to me. Like, if I like, like, tech, you know, I've seen text talk his shit. He said, I'll smoke all these niggas. He sound like me. Right. We all feel that way. But right. somebody is lying. I just want to let y'all know. Or wrong. Just be just because Jay, just because Jay Moore and, 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 and me 
and CNG Tower was all on bullpen versus the trenches. And on that particular day, they figured out what works for the crowd, and I didn't. If y'all think that's why I feel like I'm going to lose because they flourished 30 days ago, and then now they're in the same situation with me again, that is not how the history works, man. If y'all mm. really, the thing is, Jay Moore, he he, he had out like to be honest with you, when me and seeing when me and Ty's Millie battle, they were saying one one, and then Ty beat Lee, so now it's like zero two or one one, however you want. It was looking bad for the trenches. Jay Moore versus Bonus turned the night up. So if you really want to think about it, CNG Ty and Moore did better than me thirty days ago. Them niggas, I just did a little face-off with CNG Ty. He talking crazy to me. He said, if you lost to my young boy, why you think you could beat me? I keep telling niggas about the time chamber. I'm not going to keep telling you niggas about the time chamber, man. Let's, Taj Millie and shout out, shout out CNG Ty, my fault. Shout out Jay Moore. I know these niggas pinnacle. We all know it. Drug talk, whatever. We, y'all. Y'all, y'all with y'all here with me, right? We know right, what they're right. capable of. Right. They're problems. Right. I haven't seen my pinnacle. Y'all see me smoke a nigga here, lose here, win here. It, my name is talked about for a reason. Until we see my pinnacle, because y'all niggas figured it out. I'm just nice. Mm -hmm. I I figured some shit out just now. So once I'm and I'm not gonna drug talk you niggas. That's what I realized. Right. I'm gonna put so much pain into y'all. I know what y'all niggas. Well, I'm gonna let y'all niggas know who I am. This charisma is going to pour out on the white boy. Right. Like, I want y'all to know that. Like, just because he's white and he's white, I'm black and I'm black. Like, I'm energetic. Like, I'm I'm him too. A lot of people told me I have performance. Why yeah, well, that? yeah, well, even on that topic, that's just something else I heard you said in Caps's live too about like you can't lose to a white rapper. So what what why why is that? Why can't you lose to a white rapper? First of all, I be trolling. You know, one thing about me, I want to say this, like I'm so right. passionate, and sometimes like if it's up, I don't like nothing about you. I don't like <laughs> the air you breathe, I don't like the water label. I don't like if you're right. drinking the sunny, fuck the sun. Mm. I don't like so. I want to, so now that I'm that I'm a little calm, you could definitely lose to a white boy. Eminem was okay. fire. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with losing to a white boy. Yeah. I think I just wanted to use that angle because it was fire okay. to say uh, in a black culture with all of these people in the chat at this current moment, I can get a little cool point in there saying, nigga, this us. Get out of here. Now, yeah. if I was in Canada, mm -hmm. that shit would have did nothing for me. That's yeah. all it was. <laughs> you can definitely lose to a white boy. Yeah, Definitely. yeah. Now that's kind that of that's kind great of. skin, skin, skin. And you want to know it's crazy, but I will say, if you, it's not about the skin color. It's about what you've been through in life. Mm. And I and Z the dropout gives me a, a like he's a comf like I think he's comfortable in his own skin. So I I'm not I'm not looking at him like a normal white boy you can smack around. Nah, right. I'm right. not doing that to him. We gonna rap. Right. I'm not bullying him. I'm not. Well, we from Philly anyway. Our white people different. Right. I'm saying you, you, you fuck around and get people, yeah. white people, but but even but even the white boys want to hang with us though. Mm, mm. They want to hang with us. unless you unless you Spanish, then you got your own. Then then then, then they don't see. I'm you. I'm from Frankfurt. When I was growing up, it was mixed. It was blacks. It was whites. It was Hispanics. All of us. We all grew up in the hood together, and everybody was rhyming. It was nice in Frankfurt stuff. back in the days. It turned up. It was always crazy. But they got crazy. They got crazy over the Bro, I'm, years. I'm original Church Street mob shit. Like it's always my uh crazy. my girlfriend. My girlfriend's from Frankfurt, Trenton and Frankfurt. So she so she told she be telling me her little stories and shit. So I already know. Right, right, right. So yeah, I heard you say a couple of names, and you were saying that they're uh, like their problems. So yeah, who do you who do you see that could be a problem for you in this tournament? Um, everybody, man, everybody, okay. man, everybody. Like at the end of the day, put it like this: I just told you, niggas, I'm I'm gonna be better than y'all ever saw before. Right. When 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 the 17 hit, y'all are gonna say, "I'm proud of this young man. I'm proud of this young man. This nigga wasn't just talking. If right. I'm doing that, why would I sleep? Bro, I'm about to do some shit no one else seen. So I'm not gonna sleep on nobody else. I just know." My destiny is more unique than everybody. Like, like if we were all X Men, I'm just a Wolverine type of person. Like, I'm just right. one of the elites. Sometimes you get Cyclops out there. I'm not one of them. I'm, I'm, I'm Wolverine. So I can't say everybody's 
path is mine. Right. Nobody is me, bro. Like, even as I'm talking to y'all, my interview was different from any everyone else's. We right. kind of strayed away and kept it real at the same time. Right. right. And we still oh, kept it in If that you way. Wolverine, I'm Gambit. Mm, you saying you Gambit? Yeah. <laughs> that, hey, yo, I like, hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. The car shit, I, I like Gambit. He just, he just can't fuck with a celestial, but yeah. he's a cool bull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, hey, a lot that, of these that, niggas that. in the tournament is Iceman. Mm. And, ro <laughs> and Rogue. Mm. <laughs> and Rogue. These niggas ain't no Gene Grays and no fucking Magnetos, man. Yeah. And, the crazy, and this is what I'm saying. And, I, and I'm only saying that because, listen, if we all, listen, if me, you, if to me, you, TMR, and you try to win bowling, I'm talking shit to all y'all. Right, until the right. game's over. Right. So, like, that's the only thing about this tournament that I want to get straight with. As I'm talking my shit. I just realized I'm a competitive ass nigga, yo. I just told myself I smoke my teammates and I feel that way. Right. Until we got but the tournament, and I don't know way. if I'm a bad person for that. No. But I'm on no, go mode right now. This shit, I don't even like thinking about my teammates like this. How of I'm on course, like, I but, know yeah. if we have to face each other. I'm not losing to you. And y'all niggas is my friends too, so y'all know a little bit more. Oh, I got, oh, I got spank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should feel that way. Any, anything that you do. You should always feel like you the best, and regardless of who it is, you better than all of them. But it hurts more when it's your brother, somebody you love. Yeah, what, what, yeah. what did what, what did Rock say? But obviously, he got to turn his head. Mm, he got to turn his head. So, yeah, I, I hear that, and that's a fact. Mm -hmm. If it's me and you, this guy got to make it. It's gonna be me. I'm stepping on niggas next for me to make it. Mm, nah, you want I right, so 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 like let's say. This is you wonder what the craziest thing. Some only one winner, yo. When it's sixteen of us, yo, mm -hmm. and everybody talking they shit. There why can be I only think, one. Why do I think I'm. A, why do I think I'm gonna be number one? Why? Why? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just do the best of me. I want everyone to say he stepped it up. Fuck it. That's just one step at a time. Yeah. So on the topic of that, then let me throw a scenario at you. Then so what if your ass got knocked out in the first round and? Then what? And, oh, and back on the internet topic, you know, niggas will clown you, niggas will be on your ass. So how would you oh have to deal with that? You know, I Yo, will. Y'all know, you know, know some of the trolls that will just, that is going to... What? What? <laughs> hey, 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 what you want to know what's crazy? What? They make me better. Mm. They make me know now I can't. Mm. And I should have been knew that, but I think... I think if I had 999 haters, that thousand one helped. Mm. Which I just said, I just thought about that. I ain't even, yo, I never, I was trying to win for a million other reasons and y'all added one more. There is five, there is five bloggers in this world that, 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 that got nothing better to do than to talk about niggas' downfalls, especially when they got a vendetta versus them. I lose in round one. Don't even go on social media. Don't even go on YouTube. Cause you know, my timeline be, be all y'all niggas now. Like mm -hmm, once mm -hmm. I once I done said hi yeah. one time, I don't know how YouTube know I'm around y'all niggas. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. So, so much clickbait with your name. Yeah. I'm gonna be mad as shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me, let me give you this disclaimer right Who's now. Who's in round bro. one? Mm -hmm. Niggas gonna be like, you 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 <laughs> didn't do this and then you what? What? Go bro, you want to know what's crazy? Go I thought me. I had ops in the real world. The, it's nothing against it. The virtual world will destroy. Mm -hmm. You know niggas don't call me a bitch in person? Right. All right. You know I don't get trolled in person, but I'm going to be all got social media accounts. Mm -hmm. TMR, thank you, bro. I already was cooking for different reasons. Right. Yo. <laughs> Yo. No. Bro, you. let me make this disclaimer real quick so you already know. If you go out in the first round, don't be like, damn, why you trying to drag me like that? I'm letting you know that. <laughs> I'm going to drag the fuck out of you. Yeah, you, you go would. home in the hold first on, round. Hold on, hold on. Let me put a disclaimer out there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Fucking drop out. Let me you put it. Let me put a disclaimer out there. If I win the first round, can I still get clowned if I lose round two? Nah. 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 But if you get clowned in the first, uh, you, if you, nah. if you got the first one, I'm going in. Yeah. Let's get it. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. And, and you tried it, um, it's meant to be in the building too. So, <laughs> yeah, she about to give I'm that to, straight, to your face. You get me? She's well, gonna be in the building too. She uh, I did up. the face off with Z to drop out on Angry Fans Live today, and he said it himself. He said, I want it more. I'm like, like telling me, Capri, you want it more. So, mm -hmm. you can two tell. things with that, right? The fact that he know I want it more is letting him know 
that I deserve it more. Right. And two, you not eat like you can't fuck with me. So I'm gonna eat. The, he was eating wings. He was eating food while he was doing the face off. Mm -hmm. He think I'm a pool putt, y'all. Right. But you wanna know what's crazy? Prezi, I was listening. I was watching Prezi and Muwap face off, and they both talking crazy to each other too. So I don't even take it personal no more. Right. Can we just you can't take it personal. That's a part of the game, bro. Yeah, it's a part of the game. He, but, but, but there's, but realistically, and this is why I gotta be destined for greatness, yo. He could, Zeta dropout could lose, yo. And it's like, where's the blogs? Where's mm. the disrespect? Mm. Where's the social medias? And it's not like he don't have haters. It's just, everybody got haters. It's just, but if I lose, yo. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know why is that way for me. I don't know, like. I, I, I can tell you, I, because not only you're part of the trenches, but in these YouTube streets, you have been circulating around in them, fam. You, you made yourself well known. In Did I ruffle YouTube the wrong streets. feathers? I, I didn't know no, about that. No, it's not even ruffle no feathers. Yeah, like, I didn't know about once that. Once they see you, 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 you in their mind. Yeah, I didn't so, know. So if I'm thinking about you, I'm going to talk about you. But Zeta you Dropout was on saying? Summer Madness. I, I hear that. I hear that. But you're the one that's been around in the YouTube Yeah, but he, he went on Summer Madness, but he didn't come see us. He wasn't right. in the YouTube streets with us. That, if he and, came down here with us and, and mingled with the commoners, yes. maybe he I'm had the a bigger... side. Okay. Yeah. I just so want that's people to why, slow that. That's why. That's why you get clowned. You get me? If you wasn't around in the YouTube streets with everyone, then yeah. no one may not give Yeah, a fuck, you coming through and you talking your shit, shit. That's, that people expect this shit from. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's just like excited, it's just bro. like Please, you up, though, or Prezi, big pressure for them too. Big pressure because someone's got to go out in the yeah. first. Someone, someone. Yo, and that's why I wish that wasn't. Them the case. niggas I got wish. it. Them niggas. Oh my god! If you yo, I mm. gotta worry about what I gotta worry about. Prezi can't lose for his own reasons. I take that back. This is what I'm. You, you know, man. You know what I just thought about. No, Prezi can't lose because a lot of niggas vouch for him, but right. he can lose. Right. Prezi said he's the face of the trenches. I mean, Moose said he's the face of the mm -hmm. trenches. Like, you know was crazy? I, I, I feel like it would hurt Moose more to lose than Prezi. Yes. yes. I agree. In this tournament. Yes. And I just I thought of, I never it. thought of, I never thought, like, I thought they would equally feel some type of way, which they will. But in the grand scheme of things, you we go hardball no matter what. Yes, you probably yeah. still gonna battle the academy. Yeah. You probably yeah. got more eyes on you no matter what. But if Pre if Mu lose, and like, he's gonna have all the egg on his face because it, 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 he said he the face. Yeah. Like, but, but then, but then all in the you, first round. Yeah. Regardless of who it is, the first and round. And bro said no matter what anybody say, he's still the face. <laughs> Yeah, but then unfortunately you can't have that mentality because if that's what Easy says, then that's that's what's yeah, gonna go. Yeah, that's you know, I'm just I was just giving a little. I was just I was just you know you know you know. And, and, and stuff. yeah, and that's move. The, I'm always yeah. gonna, I'm always going to defend Brody, but that's a fact. If you lose in first round, nigga, move over. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but then, like, yeah. but then that is, you could battle me. You could battle me for your for your for your uh for your belt back, bro. On a card, you can get your mm. belt back. Why y'all making AOC? Hey, this is what the this is what the tournament do. I never yeah, talk like this about that's bro. What I'm saying. Yeah. I, I, I don't even man. Hey, Moo, hey, Moo. It's all love, bro. It's a jungle please, out there. Please, I, please, bro. <laughs> text, text said he'll smoke my boots on three days on that. I don't feel no way. I, that's my fucking God. Well, that, well, please, that's, well, I'm glad you said I that. I say this with all sincerity. If you lose in round one, nine times out of ten, you gotta battle me for your face of trenches belt back. Nine times mm. out of ten, I ain't worried about nobody in this tournament. Mm. Let's be honest. If if I beat Zeta Dropout, who who? Let me ask y'all. Who's the dangerous one? I think I was trying to ask y'all that. Who y'all think is like? If you, if you if you clear him, if you get him up out of here, then much more respect will be put on your name. All right. Yeah. So you then could get looked at as a problem. But right now, as we stand. People may stand in my way, a, yo. People, in my way. Yeah, people, but people may not look at you as a problem right now. And I say that to say, I can remember you. I agree. Cap, I can remember you on Cap saying, "Ah, uh, Caps, I want you to give me a um recap." But in the people in the chat, I want you. I want an apology. So I say that to say, do you think then the people are sleeping on you? Uh, sleeping on me? Um, no, no. Um, you know, at the end of the day. 
you can't you can't say you're gonna win a tournament and you not and, and, and there's two people in the tournament that had a better performance than you that night right. 30 days ago on a bullpen burst the trenches. Now not I wasn't asked. Like mind you, in my battle, I had more I had higher reactions, but his delivery and flow it executed. I like I actually like it, John Taj is my guy. Right. So I say that to say if anybody think Jay Moore or Moo, Moo just battled Cuban. A lot of people think he 30 him. A lot of people think he won. Some think Cuban won, but that was a good look. And then and then I had like a little poor performance, if you want to say that. I'm such a humble guy. I'm ready to just show. Mm. Like, it don't do nothing. Like I'm smart enough to know I have no leverage in this situation. Like, and I I've been battle rapping long enough to know if I would have had one of the top three performances like I had on the card previous than that, but it's cool. Then right. I would have been talked about. I've been on websites as top three. I only been in the trenches for three months, and look where I'm at. This is my right. fourth battle. Right. In three months. Right. Well, I saw on the caps live. Shout out to Easy. I saw in Arts caps if he was willing to be a judge. And shout out to Muslim Puppy because I heard him. I could have been on Caps' live too, where he said that they could be up to seven judges. All right. Mm -hmm. So, what's your thoughts on the possibility of there being seven judges? Yeah, I said I didn't want Caps to judge. Man. And if I like at the end of the day, like you know, that's why when I got all the love and I pressed him, like yo, you got a problem with me, like. What we, what you, what you, and then, and then you know, I can't, I went right to battle rap because again, we taking the, I'm like, so I, I purposely was like, well, she don't like my raps, you know mm -hmm. me? But he know what I meant. I've been on his live before. He, uh, it's a, it's a little backstory. Like this, this, I feel like every time he talks about the trenches, even if, even if he recap multiple cards I'm on or recap just how it went, he'll skip me and it's calculated. Mm -hmm. Y'all might not know this. But if somebody don't like you, the best way to get you back is to not say your name. Right. That's why I went how I went on him. But once he threw the white flag and said, "Nigga, it ain't about me," that was me saying, oh, "I'm looking like a little, I'm looking like a dickhead. I'm drawn. All right, let me get back. Don't tag in then. Stay out of it." And then that's why I was able to talk to that to Z to drop out one on one. So I don't want him as a judge because I already know. It's something there. I know that now. If he's now is, is e easy gonna listen to me if everyone else say no, keep him. I don't give a fuck. I realize you could sway a nigga. I don't he don't dislike me enough to where if you cook, he's gonna say no. He might he the nigga might be a fan after the 17th. Right. right. That, and that's what battle and that's what battle rap is based off of making fans out of this shit every time. You leave that stage and how much more niggas is fucking with you? Who said, no, nah, I, I rock with you. I know every time I've been in the trenches from, from, from the real niggas, the street niggas, to the collared gentlemen, to the females, to the bodyguards, to the people that run the, the front jaw, they always like, I'm happy to see you. Like people say, yo, next time you battling, I'm there. I get that in person. I'm actually somebody people want to see. If I lose in this round, in the first round, yo, they mm. still going to fuck with me. Right. But- what what they saying paid in the full is the love the same man? What what, what how was paid in full is the love the same man? If I they love me now, but if I leave, will it still be the same? Same, right, right. So yeah, so fair enough on the topic of cats, but what do you think of seven judges? Because in official when there's official judges that's in a battle rap, judges, I know them, yo. I know them well, to be I, that's a lot of like, judges, yo. Yeah, yeah. I know them to be like free. So I heard it could be up to seven. Um Muslim Pappy said easy. Want, don't want it to be an even number. He wants it to be an odd number. What happened? You talking about seven judges? I, I missed that whole joint. I missed that. What happened? Yeah, Muslim probably said it's, it, it could be up to seven judges. Because yeah. I think was... seven judges is too many. Mm -hmm. That's too many. People get tired of hearing everybody say the same kind of thing over and over again when they're doing their judging. And then people not really going to be able to go in the depth because you got six other people waiting for their turn. I don't yeah. think that that'd be conducive to make everything run smoothly yeah I, I i personally feel like what is going to be it's going to be three people it's going to be down a split decision to seven like the, the seven person is going to be i don't really you could do that same thing with four judges or or, or however you want three judges like you said three judges one three, I, yeah man, listen three. man my thing is this y'all know who y'all know who won 
Mm-hmm. Like, it don't take seven judges. Like, the battlers know who won. All right. All right. If I give y'all, man, listen, I ain't doing that shit. But if I rap three, if I rap four bars for y'all niggas, they'll say, oh, I see exactly what you mean. Good. Do your thing, young man. Like, you mm-hmm. see how y'all just said, y'all don't, y'all don't know Z, y'all know me. Y'all know, y'all know OG Capri, and then and then I brought Tex and all of them too, right. especially with Married to the Bar. Shout out all of them. Like my charisma is carrying me, like on no bullshit. Like I know y'all fuck with me, but I gotta produce good shit to keep this relationship going. I right. can't just be a face on this joint because y'all fuck with me. Right. Let me produce work. Let me be. A, let me become a top tier, and y'all grow with me. And y'all right. saw this. Oh, I saw this nigga go from mid tier to yeah. top tier. I'm not. I'm never going for a low tier. I'm the underdog tier. I've battled people that's already top tiers. If y'all choose to forget that or don't do y'all homework, that's on y'all. I'm yeah. a I'm a newer face, and I'm okay with that. A lot of niggas say they the newer face and been doing it for five years. It seemed like the trend. So let me add on and do the same thing so I can have more life in this shit. But to be honest, I call myself the underdog tier. And I promise I'm gonna be top tier in a few years. If I win this tournament, make it to let's just say I make it from what I'm hearing, I just gotta make it past the first round. And yo, we getting drunk, yo. Y'all, mm. you know what I'm saying? We, we should do a recap All same right. night, yo. We should yeah, do it like yeah, same recap, night, do a same recap. Night. We got, but we, but we got a you fine, know where like, Spike the Bar is at yeah, on um, right. Frankfurt Ave? Yeah, and then I'm getting yo, I'm, yo, I'm gonna be so turned up, man. We go, yeah. Well, like, but, okay, you you tried it, we'll be in the building as well. So I got a window. I got a window. I got a window. Mm. Like, no, like, like I'm saying, like, I'm not saying it's a breeze, but I got a window. Right. You hear me? I'm not saying it's a breeze. Yes, but you got a but window. I got a window. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got to. Mm-hmm. Like, like from my it's too it's a lot of haters, but it's people like y'all that like, and it's not just y'all, it's like a constant reminders where like. You like, bro, we rooting for you. Right. Yeah. And I'll be sometimes wondering why. You feel me? I'll be like, why y'all rooting for me? What I, what I do to, to deserve this? Mm. I, I like your energy from day one. I That's all I can say. I just like your energy. I'm a good read on people, and you seem pretty genuine. You wear your heart on your sleeve. That's a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah. And now and now we just about to, man, we about to just have something to talk about on the 17th show. Hey, yeah. um. The bad. girl, the I got uh the girls is here, so I'm about to, I gotta go to the car and get them. Uh, any final questions? I got like 30, 30 yeah, seconds say, or something. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, you tried it. Yeah, I just want my um. Do you know where the spike spike bar is at on like Frankfurt Ave? Yeah, yeah. All right, if you win, you and wifey meet me at Spike first round of drinks on me. Mm. All right, and would you be willing to battle anywhere else like off the trenches in the future would you be willing for to sure for yeah? sure i was i was trying to lock you know i was trying to lock me and greg and you know what i'm saying i like greg i i like rap breath but like i, I said, like a get, lot of these people i'm tuned all right into well the then we're gonna talk to you then yeah we will talk after get through the tournament and then after that we'll talk for the, sure. um you know you know when i make it to the finals it's supposed to be in june so Right. After, you know, if I make it to the finals, when I make it to the finals, it'll be after that. If I don't, yes. then we could like text for real. For real, if I make it out of round one, I'm I'm feeling like a hot commodity. I feel like I'm already talked about. So if right. I win round two, round three, and like let's get it, bro. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep my name buzzing, keep going, yeah, keep pushing. Yeah, man. And nah, then, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, right, so bro, when you so when you put my so when you put OG, would you say Queen? I say all right, bro. I want you to leave the girls out there in the cold. No, nah, for sure. All right, let me get out of here. Bro, yeah. Okay, well, man, I appreciate right. you. We well, appreciate you. And and like I said, pull up, obviously, for the recap. And pull up even many times before then. Anytime you're ready, just hit me up and we can get it. All right? All right. Well, salute. My guys, salute. Salute. Yeah, guys, today you had it. OG Capri from the trenches. Mm-hmm. You get me? I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. Make sure you like, comment. That shit got yeah. pretty deep, yo. Yeah, man, that was lit, man. Salute to OG Capri. Make sure you like, comment, share. And oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to say shout out to Taz because mm-hmm. she was our first interview from the trenches. So shout out to her. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. And shout out to everyone else from the trenches that has facts. pulled up on the platform and give us an interview. You know what I'm saying? We, we appreciate it. And guys, yeah, the 23rd of March, the Gulag Volume 2 is going down. Battle announcements coming very, very soon. You wouldn't want to miss it. And I promise you, <laughs> where is she? 
You definitely want to miss it. Yeah. But we don't chase clout. It's strictly business we're about. And I'm going to drop the trailer so you guys can see what's going on. And we out. Salute. Salute. So baby girl, show me what you can do So wine for me, wine for me My girl, take time for me 